terrible. Uh, last night, uh, we had over 3,000 people here from communities that have been displayed by bandits and Boko Haram elements <laughs> around uh, Muya and Shiro local governments. Uh, however, some of them have started going back to their various homes, and uh, there are some other communities that we think are safe, they can go back. But the vast majority of them will have to remain here because their towns have been uh, taken over by bandits and Boko Haram elements. Their wives have been uh, seized from them. Their wives have been forcefully uh, attached to Boko Haram members' elements. In fact, I just heard uh, they've already placed their flag in, uh, in Kauri. So, which means they've taken over the territory. And uh, this is what uh, we have I've been engaging the federal government with. And unfortunately, it has now gotten to this stage that uh, if care is not taken, nobody, not even Abuja is safe. We have been saying this for long. We've been saying this, and uh, all efforts have been in vain. I hope with the outcome of these banditry activities and uh, terrorist activities, I hope the time has come now to see reasons for a very coordinated military action to take place so that we displace. The Boko Haram elements are trying to use uh, these areas as their home, just like they did in Sambisa. Well, Sambisa is hundreds of kilometers away from, uh, from Abuja, but Kaure is less than two hours' drive to Abuja, so nobody is safe anymore. Not even Abuja is safe. So this is the time to act. But everybody, all hands must be on deck. All hands must be on deck. It's not for Niger State alone, no. It's for everybody to act. We have made all the efforts we need to do and we have done it. We have tried our best. I am confirming that we have Boko Haram elements in Niger State around Kauri. They've taken over the territory. They've installed their flag. I'm confirming that now. They've taken over the wives of people by force.